Hey guys, so I thought I would do a product review for you today on the new um, foundation and press powder that I have bought. In. Um, this is Wet n Wild. Um, and the reason I bought this and I wanted to review it is because I figured if you can't afford this because it's $10 at Walmart, you could get this. Like if this is the same, basically the same as this, then um, you could maybe buy this it'd probably be a cheaper alternative if you couldn't afford the ten dollars for that foundation um, this was $3.99 but I had a dollar off coupon for it there was a dollar off coupon on the front of it um, at Kmart is where I got this um, I went to my Walgreens and they only carried the pressed powder they didn't have the um, foundation so anyway so I got it for $2.99 and then this for $2.99 so I spent a total of $6 for two products and where this is $10 for one product. So um, I got the color fair. There wasn't much colors to choose from and I don't think there's a dark enough color for the dark skin ladies out there. Um, I think it was fair, um, gosh light fair maybe, medium and then dark but the dark didn't seem really dark but I could be wrong about that um I bought this gosh probably about four or five days ago so I can't remember what I saw there but um anyways this is the it's wet n wild coverall cream foundation and it says it's all day wear medium to full coverage lightweight satin matte finish um, Visibrite Complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. And see how it says the lightweight satin matte finish? That's what this is um, as well. It's like a lot, you know, like a, a matte finish and it's medium to full coverage. And so I just kind of figured these might be the same. And that's what the back of the powder says. And I got the powder in fair. Um, I will show you what that looks like. So it shows that it's round, but it's actually square in there, and it comes with a loofah, or a loofah, a face um, brush thing, a sponge, um, which I wouldn't apply that with a sponge. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this review. I'm going to apply half to my face like I normally do. Let me show you my skin up close. As you can see, um, those are not pimples. That's my rosacea. Uh, I'm having like a breakout, I guess you would say, um, from it. I guess that's what you call it. Um, redness. So we'll see how well this covers. You know, just see how well it covers. So I already peeled off the thing, but there's usually a silver cover on that. Um, so it is sealed. And I'm going to go ahead and apply with my fingers just in case you don't have a brush. So it feels pretty thick. Um, it feels thick and creamy. So here, if you can see, um, is one coat on my face. My redness is gone. I don't have any of those little bumps like I do here. Um, so I'm going to see if it's buildable. The color seems to match me very well. Um, so, so far this is kind of like the coverall concealer. Um, or cover, the cover girl foundation so far I really don't see any differences except for the fact that that has a primer and a concealer so this you'd have to use a face primer and a concealer with if needed oh really I 
don't like that it has a squeeze tube. I just squeeze it all over my counter. So here is the second coat. Um, it's covered a little bit better than it was the first coat. But I still see some redness coming through. Just a little bit, not much. But it blends very well into my skin. Um, since it is a matte, it's going to stick to any dry places you have on your face. So make sure you moisturize. Gosh, that's breaking out so bad. I don't know, I have a new face product, so I think it's it's flaring up my rosacea on my face. It really hasn't been that bad before, so. Um, but yeah, it feels pretty soft on my face, and it feels like, um, it feels like that cover all girl, cover girl one. Um, so let me do the other side of my face, and I'll give you a review. Okay guys, so I'm back, um, my, I had insufficient space on there, so I had to go transfer everything to the computer, delete some files, and, ugh. so it's, it's had enough time to dry on my face now. And as you remember, I had some bumps here, and, um, it seems to have covered them, they're not as red, my whole face isn't as red. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It's very silky and smooth on my face. Um, the product itself is very creamy. Um, let me compare these two real quick. So this, this one I'm going to pump first is going to be the CoverGirl. Then we're going to put the, the Wet n Wild by it. Um, I really wish the Wet n Wild was in a pump. Um, I just like, I like the pump, so. But side by side, they look to be the exact same color. Like, there's no difference between those two. And they're both very thick. I mean, this one right here is the Wet n Wild. Oops. This one's a wet and wild, and this one here is the cover girl. So look at that. They're they're pretty much the same consistency. I don't see um, any difference in, in you know in them both. I say they're basically the same product, um, except the cover girl. The cover girl claims to have a primer and a concealer in it. So. If you cannot afford ten dollars to buy the CoverGirl, then that is completely okay. Um, the only reason I do believe this is probably more is because of the name CoverGirl. And you know, Wet n Wild products are cheap but very good. Um, Two ninety nine, well, three ninety nine. If you have a dollar off coupon, if you get this one with a dollar off coupon on the face, um, I notice some people are peeling them off. Like, how rude is that? Peeling off. All of them come with coupons, okay? So peeling off one extra coupon, that's just ridiculous. Like, just buy it. It's $2.99 with the coupon. So there's no, like, if you can't afford it, don't even freaking get it in the first place. That just really irked me. There was, like, only two left that had a coupon, and this is one of them. So what, there was only one left after I took this. I wasn't rude and tore it off another one. I just picked up one that had the coupon on it. So anyways, very affordable. $3.99 is still very affordable. Love that product. Um, I love the way it feels on my face. A very matte finish. Um, I think it looks very good. It looks like I'm wearing my CoverGirl one. So really there's no difference to it. Um, except that it claims to not have, you know, it doesn't claim to have a primer or anything in it. So I'm going to go ahead and put on this face powder 
over it and I'm just going to use this little powder puff thing. I would use my e.l.f. all over the face brush but it tends to be kind of harsh and rip up my um, palettes. Here my makeup stuff, I use it with my bronzer, I try to and it just ripped it to cruds. And then there's extra product left, I don't know. I want to go get a blush brush so that way I can apply my powder with that but I'm just going to do this. So that's what it looks like on the little loofah thing. And it's very soft and creamy in the in the palette or in the thing. Gosh. So I'm just gonna apply some on my face. Anyways, there's with the powder. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. But it blends very nice into my face. I don't have any lines that I can see. Get my mirror closer to me. Um, it does, since it is like a matte finish, it will cling to your dry spots. I have a couple dry spots like right here. And it seems to be for my face very well. Um, it's not, you know, powdery looking. It's nice. Matches my skin, which is always a plus. Um, I love it. So, yeah. Um, with the powder on, it would be dry, like with this drying, how it dries to a powdery finish. Um, if you put it on lightly. So, I very highly recommend these products. I'm glad I bought them. So, when this runs out... I will definitely go back and just keep repurchasing these because they are cheaper than purchasing this, which is $10. And I think that's a little expensive for foundation, um, to be honest with you. I think it's just because of the name. But, um, you know, I do love it. And there is basically, both of these are both a fluid ounce. So it's not like you're getting one more on one product than the other. Um, also, that one has a pump and this doesn't. But, you know, I mean, it does the same thing. And I love it. And it's just a nice finish on my face. And it doesn't feel heavy. I mean, it's really thick when it comes out. And it feels thick on your face. It dries fast. Um, but it doesn't stay there. That heaviness does not stay there. It, it's like light. It's, it's like air on my face. Um, so I love them. Highly recommend the Coverall Pressed Powder and Coverall Cream Foundation. So I bought another Wet n Wild product the other day too when I bought that and that's the um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer with SPF in it. Um, and this is Reserve Your Cabana. I bought it in the lightest shade because I'm really white and I didn't I've never had a bronzer so I didn't want to put it on my face and have it be really dark and then me look like I'm really like fake baked so I just got the lightest kind because I'm not going to use I'm not going to contour with it it's just to put a bron a sheen all over my face so let me apply this Okay, so I applied that onto my face. I don't think you're going to be able to tell the difference. But um, it kind of gives, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's kind of a shine to my skin. So it kind of makes me look like I've been out um, in the sun, which I haven't. But it just gives me a nice glowy um, finish to my face. I like using it um, so then my face doesn't look so white because I am very pale. Um, I love it. It's very smooth and it's a huge palette like that's huge and that's what the color looks like so it's just a nice off tan color so that's what it looks like on my hand and then blend it out you know blends nicely into my skin so you can't see it but it gives me you know that that a little bit darker finish but not much just just enough bronze there to um, make me look like I've been out in the sun for a little bit. So anyways, highly recommend this as well. They had, I think they had three or four kinds. Um, and I might go back for a darker kind after I finish this. I'm not sure, just depending on what it looks like. Um, 
because like I said, I don't want to uh, look too dark. Um, like I look like I fake baked. So highly recommend all three of these products. Um, so anyways, that's it for my review, guys. If you have any questions or concerns or anything like that at all, please comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review and it helped. Um, like I said, highly recommend it. Cheaper alternative to the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation if you can't afford that. Um, as you know, everybody that loves music, loves makeup is on a budget and I am one of those. So I'd rather buy this than the CoverGirl one. Um, you know, they both have their pros and cons, but all makeup's going to do that. But um, all makeup's going to be like that. But, you know, this is just basically the same thing so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this review and we'll see you next time bye